Yo, 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 what up, YouTube EX? This is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jabri Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, this is my custom MacBook Pro, as you can see right here. I do have a nice case on this thing right here. Um, so, basically, what it allows me to do is keep all scratches and stuff off my computer when I'm actually out and about. So, um, as you can see right here, let's just take this bad boy off, just get the plastic off of here. And so, just bear with me for a second. There we go. So, basically, what I have right here this is the Saturn black right here. Um, it kind of got a little bit of air bubbles and stuff inside of it but I was able to manage some of it. Um, I put this custom decal on top of it. If y'all see my other MacBook Pro, you know that I have the same decal on it with my other um, other one. I had to basically trim this down a little bit just so I can get this onto the um, computer. Um, it has a bigger Apple logo. So basically what I took was, I put the regular Ryu app on it. I really wanted the, um, the silver on um, black logo from the MacBook Pro to have that gloss. Um, no, the uh, finish towards it, the shiny part. But the problem is, but I looked at it, I was like, you know what? If I do decide I want to keep this case off right here, that is going to wind up getting scratched up or whatever like that. And I don't want that to get scratched up because it is just a silver piece. It doesn't glow, nothing like that. So I just took the sticker that was on here and placed it on top of this other Apple sticker. If you can't see it, um, try to zoom it in as far as I can. As you can see right there, I just placed it on top of the other Apple logo. As you can see, there's another Apple logo right there. So it's the Apple logo being low weight on top of an Apple logo on top of another Apple logo. And basically, that's what I did with that right there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So, um, let me just build for me a second, guys. Okay. So this is basically what I did with it right here. Now, um, I did get in contact with the company because they, I'm actually missing one part. Um, it's supposed to be the bottom part right here, which is another screen protector. I had to basically cut this case down. Um, I had to basically right here cut it so I'd be able to get my dongle on towards it, my um, piece that goes inside of it. So this is space gray. Now, I was supposed to get a decal for this that was supposed to went to the bottom to make this whole thing black. Um, they didn't send it to me, so they actually gonna resend me another one in the mail, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I am liking that. So here's what else do we have. When we open this bad boy up, we have a touchpad, everything like that. Um, as you can see, everything is black and like a um, space gray, like that. And basically, what's inside of it is all my camera accessories. As you can see right here. I have my DSLR right here, my stuff when I'm doing videos and stuff right here, my extra stuff, my charger, all my extra battery charger docks and stuff right here. So this is what I go and do when I'm out and about and I need to film some stuff. So this bag goes with me everywhere I go. Um, plus my MacBook is going to be in this book bag at all time. Plus my MacBook blends in with my bag as you can see right there. That's the reason why I wanted this color, um, the satin black. See, this is the reason why I had the case on it, because it's starting to get creases in it. Right there. And uh, the thing is, I don't want to put this in my bag and it start getting scratched up and stuff. Even though the um, materials inside my bag is padded, as you can see right here, it's padded inside, but because I have stuff right here, which is bulky right here, it can actually dent my computer in or crack the screen or whatever may happen. Um, That's why I rather have it. we go. Put the case back on here. Basically, like I said, I had to cut this part right here. As you can see, it's a little crack. Um, I bent it up because the simple fact is um, I want to be able to put my dongle on here, which is this right here. And as long as this piece was on here, it was stop me from connecting properly. So that being said, let's just put the case back on here. So we're gonna just do this. 
got them on the wrong way. This one, make sure nothing's happening on my screen. Okay, I'm we'll gonna put it back to sleep. Got some dust on it. Got a little bit of dust on my screen, which I need to go get me, get my cloth really quick. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, if y'all seen my previous unboxing video when I talked about cutting this part out right here for the MacBook, um, I'm still going to do it. It's just I got to mess with the um, cutout for a few so I can um, actually get the right angle so I can cut that out correctly so I can still get the MacBook logo on it. Um, but here's actually a decal on this also going around the whole computer. Um, it's basically a cutout right here for it. And I do like it, especially with this type of branding right here. I like that also. So let's close that. I don't know why. This is why I don't like unlocking it with my Apple Watch. Because it automatically unlocks when I don't want to. Um, uh, that part, that part. This goes right here. Here. Let's lock this in place. Yep, and we're good to go. All right, so right here, boom. So one of the things that I like to be able to do with this thing is be able to use my Elgato Game Capture HD, which I have my thing sitting over there for it, but um, my dock. So what I'm going to do is what I can do. See now, if I put this over here. I'm not gonna be able to push it in because the simple fact is the case is stopping me from locking it. So what I did was on this side, like I told you, I had to cut it. So I'll be able to lock that in. And the light is on right here. You might not be able to see that light. This one right here is blue. Um, one of the things that I do like to be able to do and so if I'm out on a go and I need to, I want to do a live stream with you guys or whatever it may be, and I want to just, you know, put some gameplay up for you guys and stuff like that. Uh, just grabbing my thing real quick. So basically we need this right here. HDMI cord right here. Or we can use this right here right so for uh, uh, reviewing purposes <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna show y'all something um so here's my charging dots as you can see right here this is what's gonna be going inside my bag now for me to use um my switch I have my switch plugged in behind my computer that runs behind my monitor so I can actually play this on my monitor I don't have another cord for it so I'm gonna have to use my iPad uh I'm sorry my um, MacBook Pro cord to actually do this and uh, so it can basically dock itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this and this. So basically this is what this is right here. As you can see, this is to my switch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over so this is basically what's going to happen if I was actually out on a go and I want to do some recording for you guys. I can take this, pop this down. Actually, I should be using my other MacBook Pro since I already have all the setup. Um, throw this down right here. Take the Joy-Cons off as so. 
throw this up on here like that. Um, I would use one of these cords right here, as you can see. Well, my chair just went all the way down. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. And um, I would have my tablet with me, so I would use this. This would actually go in my bag with me. So I would place this here for actually putting my phone down. So what I'm going to do is I want to keep these open, these ports over here on the side open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this, which is my dongle, and connect it to this. So I'm going to have to use... This, which is my charger, which is right here. Um, I'll have to plug it directly into this. Uh, so, boom. And now, what else I can do is, uh, once that's plugged in, I can run this into the HDMI, which will connect into this right here. So, HDMI to HDMI, which you can see right here. HDMI to HDMI right here plug this going to USB right here so um I can't plug this into that but this needs to go right here there we go now it's docked right now so what I can do is take this let's just bring this over here try to get some of the cords out the way um take my USB I mean my HDMI cord as so I like using a cam link because I get a, a response on fresh, uh, fast, um, fresh rate very quick, and it displays in um, 60 frames per second without that lag. So, um, plug this into HDMI, and so. Just trying to untangle some of these cords. And what I'm going to do is now I still have two USB 3.0 hubs right here, as you can see, right there and right here. And I have two more USB 3.0s, and I still have my two USB Type C cords sitting right here. So I'm just going to take this and run this back here, as so. And just put this back here, like that. Take my USB Type C cord, plug it in. Okay, we're plugged in. That's in. I'm not worrying about this with this saying right here. I don't even care what it's saying. Turn on my Joy Cons. Uh, give me a second, guys need to get my joy cons to come on okay okay let's plug in Just trying to make sure everything is up. Um, I think I'm pushing too much voltage into it. Yeah, I'm pushing a lot. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to grab my dock and do this a little bit different. Um, because it's not picking up the signal. Normally when I do this, it works perfectly fine. Um, I think I'm just giving it too much of a um. I think I'm giving it too much juice on top of it, or it's probably not pushing a lot of juice into it, which I'm gonna most likely have to use my dock um, to find out what's going on. Because normally once I do this, it automatically docks itself. Let me see something. Yeah, what's happening is it's giving itself, I think, I don't think it's enough juice or um, the AC adapter. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video real quick and I'm gonna double check my cords and stuff real quick, and I'm gonna finish this up, all right? Okay, guys, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, as you can see right here, um, I'm able to play my games, as you can see right here. 
right there. Update software. And I can put it in full screen. Just bear me for a second, guys. Turn the switch cut off. <laughs> I'm not going to stay on this um, thing particularly because I don't want my switch to brick because um, there's some reports of third party docking things um, breaking people's Nintendo switches and stuff like that so I'm going to be actually be using my um, docking station um, to actually do this this is just something I can do on the go um, I'm not going to probably be using this as you can see right here attention all proud warriors And it looks good on this MacBook Pro because it has a retina display. And here's the thing that I love about this touch bar. That I can do this or I can just throw on my own uh, AirPods and just play it um, while I'm recording with you guys and I can do a live stream, whatever. So, for example, if I want to do this, uh, get that double feed on the screen or I can throw on my camera. Um, let's just set up one of my cameras real quick so it can pick me up really fast. So let's just edit this real quick. Throw that out real fast. Throw that out real fast. We're gonna add in a camera really quick. This is coming from that. Throw it over here. As you can see, I'm sitting right here. Uh, there. Edit. So now I'm sitting right here, and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So I can play like this. No lag, just like this, playing like this. As you can see how I'm recording this stuff right now, um, no problems. I'm thinking about getting rid of that green screen in the back. It's serving me no purpose, really. Um, I put it up because I was trying to have myself exit out, but it's like a mad tactic behind me like that. As you can see, playing this thing. But this, um... Retina display, it just makes the colors pop on this thing, as you can see from the side, like that. Or I can connect my Steam Link, um, my, uh, my Stream Deck onto it, like that, and change up my settings like that while I'm gonna go. So this is basically like going to be my just my computer, um, my gaming setup. I'm thinking I should just keep this other MacBook Pro and um, use one for editing and use one for straight up gaming like uh, when I want to play games and stuff like this or plug in my Xbox One X or my PlayStation 4 Pro that's the one thing I'm actually liking about this with the cam link because the cam link has um, a preview thing that previews in 60 frames per second and records in 60 frames per second there's no delay like there's really really no type of delay um i think once i start recording or streaming then i'll get the um delay like what was happening to me before when i was playing the game i was getting some delay but for me just to record it because i can record right now for example i'm gonna hit record and i'm gonna turn on my microphone so it should be picking up my internal microphone while i'm playing this game so we're just gonna do that. Hit this real quick, as y'all can see on this on thing. Um, you know, turn the game audio down real fast. Turn up the mic volume real quick. So all right, game audio is lower, and y'all should be able to hear me a little bit better. And I'm gonna just throw on the camera real quick. Switch it over to my camera. So I know with the um. 
the new update that Elgato made, you're now able to record your own webcam. Even though this is a 720 webcam on um, the MacBook Pro with touch bar, um, it still comes in clear. Like, you really can't tell. I'm just running around on the game right now while I'm talking to you guys, while I'm recording this thing. But um, let's stop the recording. Push it back. Turn the microphone back off. Go to edit. And let's go back and rewatch it. That's the one thing that I do like about it. This is the reason why I brought the MacBook Pro. Um, because I'm able to do everything I need to do on this thing. Game, do, do live commentary, whatever. Just bring my Nintendo Switch with me. Or if I want to bring my Xbox One X with me or my PlayStation 4 Pro. I just connect it to my cam link. Instead of using my DSLR to do the recordings. Which um, I'm thinking about buying another cam link. Um, I have to call Aunt o Elgato and ask them... Um, can I actually put two cam links towards it to use um, two different softwares towards it? So I'd be able to use one with my DSLR and one with um, recording my gameplays. Um, I can just buy HD60 Pro. I mean, I'm sorry, um, the HD60S. But the whole point of the problem is I have this and I can just buy the S version and do the exact same thing. But the only problem is with it, um, the S version that I don't believe has the preview in 60 frames per second. And the cam link has the option to preview in 60 frames per second. That's the only reason why I roll with that more than this. I mean, I can plug this in real quick right now and see what will happen. But I have to use um, a USB right there. And it's just too many cords. This is just one cord. Plug it in. And that's about it. I'm running into a USB, you know. Um, this is just the extender. I put the extender on here just so I can have more limb. Ooh, excuse me, but um, it's just one little small thing compared to this. This is something if I want to plug it into a TV and record it, or just run it singly and run it through the thing like that. But um, like I said, with this, I will have to plug this into another USB. That's another cord to pack and um, keep it inside and run it like that. Then the only thing is because this is a 60 and this is running by a USB, you're gonna always have that latency. And I don't believe there's an option to be able to play this thing with a 60 frames per second preview. And that's the only problem I'm having. Um, I can do it right now, but that means I gotta go and look for another cord to connect it to so I can actually do that. But this is the reason why I brought the MacBook Pro, guys. So I can do editing and stuff for you guys, be able to play games, stream stuff to you on the go uh, with no problem, and be able to add everything on the fly. So that being said, guys, this is my my little custom MacBook Pro. I got to clean like the uh, oil marks that I still have on here. Stay tuned for my gameplay for uh, Far... far blah, blah, blah. Far Cry 5, um, my first impressions, and y'all gonna enjoy what I have to say about it. So, it's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jerry Hacker, only use Tomahawks, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace, deuces, and one. Holla.